Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to Christ Church. Lovely to see you here. It's always lovely to see such a good crowd of faces. I love it when there are familiar faces. I love it even more when there are visitors and friends and guests. So welcome, one and all. Now we have our poem called The Beach Village, written by William John Henry and read by John Neve. Below the town in days of yore, connected by alleyways, called a score. A village people by folk of the sea. It's like again, there never will be. The work and labours are there to recall. The beating chambers, smoke houses, stores and all. To reap and make the harvest of the sea. A hard living with long hours for company. Men of the village, best seamen in the land, would always prepare and give the lifeboat a hand. And when the call for a rescue came, they went without question, with no thought of fame. The sea was the living all through the years, for generations of hard work and poor widow's tears. Each spring, when the North Sea was in flood, it covered the village in salt water and mud. The houses were small, in need of repair. The families were large and increased each year. People were honest and just in their ways, but had none of the comforts expected these days. The village had shops and pubs galore. No need to go in the town up the score. The schools were there, prepared and to teach the poorly dressed children who lived on the beach. They followed the herring round Britain's shore. The work was arduous, the money was poor. At the end of the voyage, with bills to be met, Many of the drifters finished up in debt. No dole for the beachmen in those good old days, but they kept their families in all sorts of ways, with odd jobs on the market and seawall repair, and hope that next fishing there'll be something to share. When I heard a Scotch girl singing and she sang so merrily, she was busy gutting herring and her song it captured me. She sang the day that I get married, it's a fish lad for me, it's a fish lad for me.